USA versus the world means us Americans who everybody around the world knows us as a football, American football nation. We're, we're competing against the best, uh, best uh, all-stars from around the world, the best in the U.S. and the best in the world, and they're trying to see if they can beat us. We're trying to see if we can beat them. It means, it means the world to me because, you know, uh, coming from obviously the U.S., you know, and you get to play for your own country, and this is, you know, probably one of the only opportunities you know, I might get at doing something like this and representing, you know, America. And Everyone, all these players come from all over the country, and uh, the, play, the foreign players uh, coming from all around the world, I think 15 different countries, they want nothing, nothing more than to beat us, uh, and we don't, we're not, not going to let that happen. Well, it was a typical right, first practice, go. a lot of mistakes, um, but it gave us a starting point to get better from, and, and we'll, we'll know how much we improved after the second practice. I've made the transition, I'm a high school football coach, and when, when your first string kid is going to an SEC school and you can replace him with a kid going to a Big 12 or Big 10 school, that's a lot of fun as a football coach. It makes you look really good. We say ready, get down in a good football position and say ready. Here we go, ready, ready, ready. ready. Let's go. Probably more so than any other sport, it teaches you a, a lot of things about uh, communication, teamwork, discipline, leadership, uh, and most importantly, I think one of the things that our kids in today's society don't have enough of is how to deal with adversity. Good, that's it. Good job. And if the U.S. loses, it's going to be pretty, pretty uh, sad for us because it's our, it's our own game, American football.